Hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox and build this Be Cool Bikes trailer that we got free when we ordered her Be Cool Bike. So we've had the bike now a month or two and the free gift trailer just got here, but hey, we still got it. Show you everything that comes with it. This is going to be a long video and I'll do a short one. Uh, looks like we got some sort of Velcro cover. We'll check that out later. And this must be a liner. It's got Velcro on it, so somehow it works with that cover. Air tires, that's nice. Must be a part of our cart. I'll go ahead and unwrap everything. This is how it hooks up to the bike. Add our directions. Side. Another side. It's got a few dents in it from shipping. Not worried about it. It was free. Here's the directions. Might show my age, but back in the day, I uh, used to put model cars together and the directions were kind of like this. Actually, probably a little more detailed, but it was mainly just pictures. You just follow along. Make sure you have everything in your box that you got here. Put your cart together just like that. This is our hardware bag. a size 14 and a size 17 metric wrench this is China stuff so it's metric there you go they both fit and then you have the one they gave you or get yourself two of each of these right here is how you do it can anybody see that I sure as heck cannot Let's see if I can see this thing now no this is your direction. Everything's pixelated. You, you can't tell what is where. Let's figure it out. Okay. What we have here, but these clips, when you tighten it down onto these hooks, these little bent clips go into this hole. And then when you tighten it down, if something loosens up, it helps prevent the wheel from falling off. So we know that much. We know that this nut and this nut have to clamp together to hold this retainer part into this hole. So let's start with that, see if we can figure it out. I'm gonna leave these nuts turned in and then tighten these outside ones, which is the 14, till they are just starting to push in on that U support. Make sure that this retainer clip point is in that hole on both sides. Then I'm going to run these inside nuts out to lock it in. So put your 14 on the outside and then lock that one in. Now that holds the wheel in the middle. So at first I thought it wasn't going to work, but these nuts I don't know if you can see it. These nuts are beveled inward so gotta take one side off anyway if you can see how it's rounded and then on the inside here it's rounded and then you got that small flat spot well that small flat spot goes 
goes up against the bearing housing like that. So this locks the axle into the wheel and then the other two nuts lock it into these supports. Then this retainer clip will get locked in to this hole. See the hole there? See the retainer clip that's bent? It's gonna go over that axle this way and lock into that hole. Lock into that hole like that. It's gonna go in, lock into that hole on the side, right there on both sides. One's gonna lock in this way going in, and this one's gonna lock on the outside going in towards the wheel. So this is gonna be your axle bolt. Take one side off, loosen these up on the other side. Leave a nice gap there. And then we're gonna slide this through the wheel. Slide it into the wheel. Take one of your bigger nuts to size 17. Run it all the way down. Run your other 17 down. Put your retainer clip on pointing towards the wheel and then grab your other lock nut that goes on the outside but leave it towards the end so you see how i got a gap here run that one in run this one in and then your your retainer clips are pointed in towards the tire right in, into that support just like you did the other side those are your size 14. Doesn't look like the greatest part, but it's kind of neat. So once those are tight in there and that retainer clip point is in that hole, go ahead and grab your 17, put it to the inside nut, put your 14 on the lock nut on the outside, and lock these two down really tight. This is what holds your wheel on your cart. Now use these two air nuts that are going to lock the wheel and get your wheel placed into the center where you want it. And it's probably just going to be where the ends of the threads are. See that, that nut's tight, so tighten this one down and that should lock your wheel into the center. put these pretty tight and just see what happens. That's how you put your wheels on. Okay, flip your card over. You have your long side. These brackets go to the inside of the cart. And they're going to go with these legs with the holes in the legs pointing down. Remember those bolts, those four small ones, four small bolts, get a bolt, a washer, put the washer over it, and then slide it through, grab your lock nut, and put it on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and put the washers on all of them, slide them through and put the lock nut in before I tighten anything. That way I can go around and tighten them all at the same time. They gave you this Allen wrench, but you also need a number 10 wrench to tighten these up. Go ahead and run this down so it's you know pretty snug. If they start bending the frame a little bit, it's got to be. Go ahead and make it really really snug, but don't bend in the bracket all the way in so it's touching the the frame of the side. If that makes sense. I would suggest from noticing the way this is put together after you use it. Just come back and check all this stuff, you know, the axle nuts and everything. Make sure that it stays tight. Tighten all four of those up. 
number 10 wrench that I hope you have yourself, the Allen wrench they sent you with, like so. If you don't have this, you can use an adjustable wrench, and if all else fails, use a pair of pliers. Don't like the pliers myself, but if you have to, you have to, it'll work. Take this short side, now you can fold these up. So this is how you're gonna store it. Slide that in the bracket there. Take these cotter pins, go in from the top down. Top down with the and then lock them in like that. You can put these rings to the inside or the outside. Inside just looks better. So take your other one, put it in those brackets, put the pin down top to the bottom, and then lock it in. Pin down top to bottom, lock it in. There's your cart. Now we gotta flip it over, show you how to put on the the bar to connect to your bike. Gonna need this cradle. Remember, this is gonna be flipped over. So this will be on your right side connected to your bike. Left side connected to your bike. So her bike, the derailleur is on the, when you're sitting on it, the derailleur is on the right side for changing gears. So we're gonna put this on the left side so when this is flipped over behind you this will be the left side that's where we're going to put the bar here's the bar it's going to go in like so take your cradle slide it down on whichever side you need it for your bike now remember that long bolt grab it put the washer on Go in the last hole, see these two holes? Put it in the last hole right here so that you'll be able to lift this up and fold it away. Take that lock nut, put it on. Now you can take that number 10 wrench you found and that Allen wrench that came with the cart and tighten this down. Just make sure it's on there snug but don't pinch it so much, you won't be able to fold that card up. One of the other locking pins is gonna go through this one. Lock it in. Now it won't move. This is what you need to put this to your bike.